Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Bryce or Otof and today this is going to be the first tutorial for the website keypuncher.com or .net. I don't know what one I'm going to be taking, but for right now, let's just call it .com. Unless that's in service, then I'm sorry for saying that. Whatever. So today, first Xcode tutorial that's going to be on the site, and that is how to load a website into a UI web view. This is my second time around recording this and uh, there's the project right there of the failed the failed try whatever whatever single view application obviously you can do this in whatever you want I'm gonna call this web view 2 and I'm gonna go into next and create it sorry if it is a little jittery uh, it's because I am running in a virtual machine this is my native operating system and then this here is my VMware operating system I prefer it in a VM because it's not powerful enough to be a main operating system I'm sorry it just isn't alright let's continue on so what we need to do, obviously, uh, at our curly brackets, because this new updated version of Xcode couldn't put him in for us, gee thanks, uh, and we're going to make an IB outlet, because we need to obviously connect this in Interface Builder of UI Web View. can hit Tab to complete each individual word, that's what I do, and I'm going to call this one Page, because it needs a name and we're gonna go save and build shouldn't get any errors at all the next thing that you need to do is obviously add something for that page to be so we're gonna go into the dot M and we're going to need to go into view did load if you want you can do it in a different method or add it as an IB action uh, you know any way to activate it would be fine but obviously if you want the page to load at the application launch then you obviously want to do it through viewed load so what we're gonna do is bracket add the word of the thing that you named it I named mine page and the page is going to have to load uh, the request so load request NS URL request request with URL and then like that and then NS URL space URL with string and then at quotes and we're gonna name this whatever we want so HTTP colon slash slash www dot youtube.com forward slash square bracket square bracket square bracket and semicolon save and build shouldn't get any errors uh, I'll explain what this is doing it's taking the the name of the IB outlet so it knows that it's the page uh, it's gonna load a request from the URL and that request is to push on the website which is stated right here that string of text will be in the description <coughs> sorry my throat's a little dry uh, in the description of the video if you don't want to type it out it'll be there and uh, I'll just change page in the actual website to whatever or maybe I won't I don't know so now we need to connect the IB outlet to the view obviously and we need a web view web view drop them right on there and then we're gonna right click on the view controller and connect page to the web view alright so now that we're done that we can save and build and we can run oop nope I want it in the iPhone simulator because iPads are dumb not really I'd like one 
but I wouldn't pay for one. If somebody wants to give me one, I'd be okay with that. And as you can see, it loaded YouTube. And that link can obviously be anything that you want, and that's about it. So like I said, the uh, snippets will be in the description, as well as a written tutorial on the site. That's about it. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, peace out.